the chief secretary has briefed me before about this, but I never paid more attention to it until recently when he came back from, he went on leave. When he came back when I was on leave, he followed me. <laughs> and when he was on leave, I followed him. <laughs> I said, um, Comrade President, you need to see this establishment uh, because they need to be supported, mm. and I'm happy. I also informed um, the Vice President, the Acting President now, yesterday, last night, that ah, I wish we should come. And I don't think he's regretting to have come. <laughs> <laughs> because as we're walking around, we say, this is what we should have done many years back. Yeah. Yeah. But as it is, once we've begun, we should do everything possible to make sure your vision is realized. stakeholders uh, into this um, uh, ICT assembly uh, plant. Um, it is uh, a brainchild of uh, His Excellency, uh, the President, Comrade E.D. Mlangabo, and uh, we got this plant uh, through the office of the, the President and Cabinet. And um, we are looking at uh, assembling uh, desktops, laptops, uh, tablets, uh, and other ICT devices. Uh, in this uh, factory. And the benefits uh, of that is we will uh, you know, import substitution, where we will spend less in importing components. Uh, we will also be able to empower uh, and create employment, uh, not only with this plant, but even downstream industries. We're also looking at opportunities where we will work with uh, other SM SMEs and even innovation uh, companies in terms of software, in terms of components, even the steel and plastics, we're looking at quite a, a number of products that get into uh, laptops, uh, desktops, and the rest. That's often made here. And we also have a lot of information to do. The capacity on a normal eight hour shift, we're looking at 50,000 units of devices. Mm -hmm.